All right, everyone. For today's lacrosse ball drill, you're going to need a flat, firm surface to sit on. Not something cushy. It's not going to work for you. So a box works really well for this. A stack of plates. Um, a folding chair, anything you can find that's really firm. So I'm going to place the lacrosse ball right where my hamstring and my glute come together, have a seat on the ball, and I'm going to do some flexion and extension from there. And just move around a little bit, so I'm kind of scooting the lacrosse ball a little more towards the inside of my leg, then I'm going more towards the outside of my leg, you can see it under there. Once I've spent about 30 seconds to a minute doing this, then I'm going to sit up really tall, get a nice neutral spine, so I'm not overextended, I'm not hunching over, it's nice and neutral, and I'm going to rock forward from the hips. So I'm moving from the hips, I'm not moving from the spine, and you're going to feel that when you do this. That lacrosse ball is going to dig in, and there's going to be a lot of pressure right there in the top of the hamstring area. If you have lower back pain, sometimes even knee pain, this will really help with some of that. So rock back and forth from the hips. Again, we're gonna spend about one minute doing this. Look a little crazy if people don't really know what you're doing, but this, this is simple and very effective. Once you've done this for about a minute, then you're going to go ahead and switch sides and start with the same thing. So I'm placing that lacrosse ball right where my hamstring and my glute come together. I'm going to extend and flex and kind of work my way around with that ball, go a little more towards the inner thigh. Woo. This is a lot tougher when you're sore. <laughs> And then, again, about one minute, I'm going to rock, moving from the hips forwards and backwards for about one minute. I hope you enjoyed this one.